of sausages from carcasses. Really? Yes, international. Yeah, any meat of the carcass. They make a mince. They make a mince from the from the from the remains. We've landed in the land of the chicken Kiev and Coincidentally, it turns out to be National Chicken Day. Kate's on her way to the Mironivsky meat processing plant, responsible for half the industrially produced chicken in the Ukraine. Hi, my name's Hi. Kate. My name is Anastasia. Nice to meet you. Today, you're going to show us your chickens. Yes. I'll and more importantly, you. your chicken Kievs. Yes. Here we have trousers, jackets. You look great. Me too. We could possibly be in a Bond movie if we were <laughs> if we were boys. So why do we need all of this, Anastasia? This is a special procedure. This is a biosecurity measure. For hygiene? For hygiene, right. Oh, I hope the chickens appreciate it. I hope so. This company processes nearly 177 million chickens a year. Here you fill the chickens, definitely. You just smell okay. it. <laughs> so the chickens arrive here, alive. And then what happens to them? We slaughter them. OK. Plenty of chickens. I've never seen anything like it. There are 44,000 44,000 heads. And is that the amount you'll process in one day? This is the line capacity per hour. 44,000 an hour. So that's half a million chickens in one day. Yep. Them. Is this yes. the best way to get them yes. there? Right. Should we follow the line? Yes, we will. Once on the conveyor, each chicken is assigned its own unique ID and is tracked through the factory. I've never ever seen so much meat in my life. And this is the biggest facility not only in Ukraine, in Europe. All right, first of all, I can show you the quality control. Oh, see, so this is the yeah. other side of what we've just seen. Yeah. We've got essentially each chicken, chicken, every single chicken is yes. photographed. Yes. And are the rejects automated? Yes. So the computer detects whether or not it's a reject. Yes, I will show you on the line how it works. All right? Brilliant. Only the most perfectly formed birds get sold whole. The rest are sent to various cutting stations based on the condition and size of the chicken. I'm putting my hood up for this. Wings and legs are removed by machine but the breasts are taken off by hand. We have it on the spike. They take off the skin. One person takes off one side, another person takes off another part of a chicken fillet. And at the end, we receive the carcass. What happens to these now? They will go to the different production, really. Well, to the production of sausages, for example, low-cost sausages. Oh, really? Everywhere in the world. Even in the UK. What? What do they do in the UK? They produce low-cost sausages from carcasses. Really? Yes, international. How do you get any meat of the carcass? They make a mince. They make a mince from the, from, the, from the remains? I mean, there mustn't be much on one of those carcasses. Yeah, there are some, some meat, right? How do they get it off? I will tell you later. <laughs> Kate's now seen the chicken divided into high-end breasts and low-cost offcuts. But which bit will be heading towards the Kiev production line? Kate will find out later. The beating heart of the Chicken Kiev factory yeah. is upon us. Kate's finally going to find out just what part of a chicken goes into a Chicken Kiev. So here we have chicken fillet, deeply frozen. This is purely chicken breast. Look at the size of that. That's absolutely huge for a chicken breast, isn't it? It's not. It's not? Mm -mm. This is just a normal chicken. Not all Kievs are made this way, but here it's just chicken breast, pure and simple. But it doesn't look like a breast for long. There's chicken being spat out of a big pipe. So we've got this chicken raining into what is, I suppose, a 
giant mincer. It's a giant mincer, you're right. It looks quite soft, yeah. I would say, right? Yeah. So, Anastasia, why make chicken mince out of these lovely, good quality chicken breasts? Because traditionally, a chicken Kiev would be one single chicken breast. This is how it is produced right. industrially. That's a factory chicken here. Yeah, you got yeah. to mince the chicken. Yeah. Okay. So it's technology. It's all <laughs> technology. What next? We go to production. Before Kate's question gets answered, she's diverted by a rather unusual feature of the production process. There is a butter sausage production over there. Oh. We buy butter, right? Then we slice the butter. The goes. Very strong. Yes, she is. Very strong. And yeah, what is she adding there? Uh, dill. 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 What about the garlic? No, we never add garlic. According to the traditional recipe, there is no garlic in it. So there's no garlic in a chicken yeah. No. It's bombshell revelations like this that make us realize how little we know about the butter in our Kievs.